But one thing that one nugget I'm going to start with is Saxon's interview with Dave in that Dave asked him if they split off teams and individual to separate seasons, would he do both? And Saxon said he would. That's all. That's all cool. But the bigger story is here. Is there a plan to make two seasons, a team season and an individual season? I think you would have much better, obviously, um, athletes in the team. And I think a lot of the individuals would team up and do team. However, if you want to grow the sport, I think allowing more athletes to, to compete at the game's level is very important. And it allows people, like, if you have no chance, if it's only the game's athletes competing individually and then super teams – a lot of athletes are going to get so discouraged. And I mean, it's going to push them to be better, but I just think in terms of growing the sport within all the affiliates, having athletes choose whether they want to be in the individual space or the team space allows for more people to play. That's um, mm -hmm. my opinion. But I think there's an opportunity to do like an invitational where it's kind of like, or like the SoCal tier Wadapalooza where you're going to get that super team and stuff like that. But allowing more affiliates to actually have affiliate teams, I think is important. Here's, here's my overall beef. CrossFit seems to want to be able to do everything themselves, mm -hmm. but they have demonstrated that they are not capable of even like marketing their own season and getting everything right in the one season that they have. Right. By making a second season, now you're taking away the off season from the Rogues and the Wadapaloozas and the SoCals and all of that. Right. I don't want to see those go away. Right. Those guys do a great job in having those events. And that's the place where people get competition experience to make their run at the games. If you overlap a team season over top of that, those guys lose everything. They lose viewers. They lose all of that stuff. And I, as cool as it sounds theoretically that we would get a full year of the, the best athletes in the world. I think you're sacrificing way too much by doing it. Yeah. And that just piggybacks on top of what, Carolyn said, where you're taking away opportunity from so many of these young athletes to get experience. Now double that by taking away their off-season events where they can actually do that. Think about the transitions that teenagers can also have by, you know, that gap, those gap years where they, it's hard unless you're, you know, there's very few that have been able to make that transitions from the, the teenagers to the elites, but a lot of them cho choose to go teams and get that experience and, and stuff like that. So I think um, keeping that around it is good. Ooh.